Yeah, I forget how this went. I think I won this one, but I can't be sure. It's again a ZVZ, me and Disparis. And we'll just control what? Control 5 here, and we'll go up here. We'll control F6. So F5, F6. Just in case you didn't know, you can actually save locations on the camera screen. Uh, I assume you can do it in gameplay, I just don't know why I would bother. So you can just tap F6, F5, and you're like, ah, oh, that's what's going on. You can see the minimap, two overlords on their way towards each other, forging a path to Zerg Unity. Um, not, nothing between us really, well, maybe... Ah, uh, he's harvesting a little faster. I'm getting sp oh, pool at the same time. Go, guys. Look at you. Synchronicity. Uh, can get another drone there. Oh, no, wait, you can't. Your supply blocked. Supplies. Both getting an overload at the same time. Almost the same time. Look at this. Little twins are. I don't know if this is a standard build or doing, but I don't know actually any build orders. This is good right here is to. I mean, when your guys rally, they're gonna have to like walk around it unless they go this side. But definitely use your buildings, build your buildings so you can have increase your security on the drones. You know, so they'll have to come in this end so you can you know pull like four drones and keep them off that kind of thing. But um, Sparrow's going six zerglings and a queen. I've just gone queen. So six zerglings. That must mean early pressure. He's getting the gas as well. Four to get the speed and a map this side. I think you, yeah, this size map you need the speed. So I won't be surprised if he instantly puts three drones into gas there. Or well, you know, pretty soon. Yeah, look at that. Two, three. I'm just getting my gas, an ish. Uh, I've got my queen up and ejecting because that's all she's good for. Uh, creep spread, not super crucial. If anything, it'll help out the enemy. And maybe I'll lose this one because dude, we got six zerglings coming in and I've only got two, like a jackass. Two more on the way. Those guys try to delay them. I actually get one. So now two more on the way. Uh, a little delaying tactic. Did I do that intentionally? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. In he comes. He's coming around. Come on, Queen. Snipe. Alright, this is what I mean by pulling back and getting the surround on them. These guys can still mine. Meanwhile, only the frontline drones actually have to fight. The rest are like, we're giant pussies. We don't give a shit. So I think, well, if you're going to go to Zergling game, I'm going to go to Zergling game. I've got 12 up now. Another two on the way, and I'm just going to go constant zerging. And I guess this is the mistake Alistair has made. Um, yeah, it's good to scout that, but it's going to be forever before I get over there. It's not like I can build a command center and lift off. And he's fast expanded. I still call that fast, even though he's only 18 supply. So he scouted these islands, which I think is pointless against Zerg early game what you should be scouting is the middle of the map and see that you got what 12 zerglings incoming and these are going to kill you but try and kill that queen queen queen's a prime target look at her running around trying to find a safety everything look at that good wall though i like that i had to kill off that spine though spine crawlers very good for defense do my best to kill that queen and straight up fight. Zerglings should be able to take more than enough roaches to pay for themselves. There we go. Oh yeah, that's it. And here comes the Zergling reinforcements to clean up, but short on funds. Relatively short on Zerglings. What's he built there? Drone. He had to build a drone. He couldn't build anything else. Um can't even afford to drone up at his expansion that I have no idea about. But um we look at the units. I'm just building straight up zerglings now. My income is more than enough to fund constant zerglings. Uh, he's only got three drones now. Oh, that sucks. 
So it's 14 on 9, but all my guys are rallying, so I'm holding them off here. I should see that expansion. Yeah, I've seen the expansion. Whether I've noticed it or not is a different story. There's no point in hitting it, really. I mean, if you take out his main, then, you know, what can you do? So it's just a straight off fight of having more Zerglings than him. But maybe I should draw attention to how important that was, what he did there. Just pause it there. You can see he's got four Zerglings, and they're holding off eight Zerglings from the mining area. I, I mean, I know I could have probably sneaked into that gap there. I could have come around and gone in through the gaps here. But, you know, nine times out of ten, the army's just going to come. I'm going to go into the mineral line. Into the mineral line. Oh, can't go there. I'm going to go in here. So with your less units, you can bring them here. And since these are not ranged, these four are only being attacked by, well, I'd say you could probably fit in like one, two, three, five, about six there. But that means there's Zerglings at the back that are doing nothing. They're just running around going, I want to play too. I want to play. I want to play. So when you're at a numbers disadvantage, you're probably still going to lose. But you can definitely do a lot more damage than you should than if they were, say, if they were in open ground here and I had all my guys, they could just run around, circle them, and then, you know, bitch slap them to death. So that's why building a placement in Zerg versus Zerg, I think, is very important. And then um, unit placement is also very important. And that's pretty much GG. He's got 50, what? He's building one Zergling. No chance, buddy. No chance. I've even got two guys here that are late to the party. There we go. And a GG. Very polite. Puts down a GG. Then leaves the game. It's the way to go. It's a bit of decency. But I think mistakes with the lo Overlord placement. If he was playing a Terran, it's definitely worth checking out. Actually, he of all people would know to check for Terran island bases. Whereas me with the ZVZ, I tend to just go, well, where's the path that I'm coming? I'll just put overlords on that and see if he's sending a mass of zerglings. And look how rich I am. God, I could have been spending a lot more money. But, uh, yeah, I just need to work on my game. That's all.